Well, go on, people. It is I, Sal Bow, spring an OU match against Tide Plays Pokes, found a smoke of Wi-Fi Battlefinder, as you do. If you've missed the video that I posted a few hours ago, Smogan has decided that they have going to ban Sandvale and Snowcloak under the evasion clause, thus Garchomp is back in OU. Old tight nigga Exedrill and Blaziken still on lockdown. <laughs> oh my lord. Okay, but yeah. Yeah, Rain vs Sand, so you know the deal. Need to win a weather war, hopefully I'll Volt Switch or U-Turn out. On a predicted switch into Gothitel or fodder off Goth uh, Pokemon, go into Gothitel and trap Polito, then kill off with Thunderbolts. Threats on this team, Sizzle, definitely, most definitely. <laughs> Gigantic threat, need to play uh, Rotom and the Genesect well. Uh, Celebi is going to be a hindrance to my Terrakion, Choice Banded, as you do, depending on this set is. Hydreigon looks to be a benefit of the rain as well, although it doesn't really have much of a rain team. Yeah, I was probably not benefit from it with the Metagross, Celebi, and Scizor having their four, their fire weakness uh, cut in half. Hydreigon could be the sub free attack set. Yeah, there's a Blissey as well, which is strange. You know, you usually just use Chansey, but anyway, just gonna leave with Rotom Wash as you do, as it's pretty much the most universal lead even though there aren't really leads in Gen 5 anyway. So, without further ado, let's get on with the show. Yeah, 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 okay. Rotom vs Sizzle, he could have honestly led with Celebi, but I did have Tyranitar in the lead spots anyway. So, gonna switch out into Celebi, gonna Volt switch out into my Tyranitar just to get the sand up, and also hopefully get out my Stealth Rock. So, yeah, I'm figuring that the Celebi will be wanted to switch out. So, yeah, gonna get on my Stealth Rocks this turn, but he actually decides to go for the Thunder Wave, which is, I'm slow as hell, I'm a Tyranitar, I'm not gonna be outspeeding anything. Go for Thunder Wave. Ah. Yeah, okay, fine. I get paralyzed, which is very annoying, actually. Since, I'm again, I'm gonna go for the Stealth Rocks, I don't get paralyzed this turn, but I didn't, wasn't able to go for the Pursuit, so I don't know what kind of set the set is, which will be key into my thought process later on. Just gonna go right into my Genesect, hard switch out into that. Well, I can, I can only hard switch out anyway. I see his life fall. So I was thinking, okay, he's definitely not gonna stay in fearing the flamethrower, but he stays in. And I'm thinking, oh my lord, did you predict that? <laughs> also, why does he have Brick Break? That's surprising. I'm guessing, I don't know, he doesn't like the defense drops. But as, yeah, I'm gonna have to switch out to a Rotom, seeing as that's the only thing I can switch out. And he's staying in is very problematic, so what do we do? We don't mess around with these threats, we go right for that Will-O-Wisp. And this is actually pretty funny, he's switching into Hydreigon and I haven't done any damage. I'm not going to attack it, this Hydreigon, so just watch the health go. With Sand, Stealth Rock and Burn damage, so yeah. I'm going to have to um, hard switch out once again into the Tyranitar as I am invested in special defense, although I'm a lonely nature. Although he would have could have been able to print the... Yeah. He could have predicted my uh, my switching and went for the Focus Blast, but I did have the Chopper Berry, so it was all cash. <laughs> Either way, he's going to switch out into the Politoed. I'm going to go right for the Fire Blast because he switched into Sizzle, which is... I don't know. I, I just don't know. Politoed was the most universal switch anyway. As he's going to take that like nothing because Rain hindered and as well as Water-type. going to switch out into my Special Defensive Rotom. As he goes for a Focus Blast, hits, which is annoying, but hey, <laughs> whatever. As he's going to switch out to Blissey, which I'm just going to Volt Switch out and go into my threat. Yes, Terrakion. Now here, because he's been staying in, I don't really want to predict around the Celebi, so I'm just going to go, I could go for the X Sizzle, but in case he did stay in and Thunder Wave me, I would have been highly upset. <laughs> so I'm thinking, okay, he's going to stay in. He switches to Celebi and I'm thinking, ah, oh, Terrakion. Terrakion, 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 yes! <laughs> oh, yes, two hit KO the entire meta game, let's go! <laughs> oh, said to be had no chance. I'm guessing that thing was especially defensive. Oh my lord, not bad at all, not bad, as he is going to switch out into Polytoed once again. I see no leftovers as you, clearly, yeah, you clearly saw last turn, as he's most likely Specs. Depending on the damage thing, as that's, this is doing a lot actually, or he's choice in some way at least. 
as he's going to go for the focus blast hits and hits another focus blast which is very surprising but hey whatever man <laughs> which is fine because now i can able to go out into my gothitelle shot attack it can only be male so yeah gonna go right out thunderbolt and easily knock that thing out so my sand is here to stay yeah 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 and i'm thinking oh my lord do my eyes deceive me gothitelle two two kills in one game oh my no <laughs> no chance gothitelle's weak as hell but it's a good truffer nevertheless it's fun to use this thing and know you but yeah i don't know why shadow tiger's only yeah yeah only male really but anyway either way gonna bring my tyranitar since my sand is here to stay as always and he goes for that bullet punch. Um, I'm just gonna go right for the fire blast. And it's, no, what is it? And yeah, let's try and speak English, shall we? It's the only thing I can do, really. But yeah, he's gonna bring in the Hydreigon. I'm just gonna finish me off with the U-turn. So I'm thinking probably Expert Belt at least. Seeing as yeah, the Draco didn't do anything at all. <laughs> as he's gonna U-turn out right into the Mesagross, and I almost didn't almost missed the air balloon so I was thinking oh I can't switch into my exit drill and um, clean up so what well, I'm going to wow well, no anyway <laughs> no it's something real life no mind what I'm going to do is that uh, I'm going to go into my genesis get the special attack raise and oko this thing I mean I'm honestly surprised I mean even though Mesagross's special defense compared to its other stats but yeah 90 with um, Mesagross stats is still reasonable I mean come on and the Hydreigon went for the Fire Blast on a rain team, which is odd. I understand the concept of um, team building outside of um, rain, which is very good, but yeah. Yeah. I mean, it still does have to be a lot to Ferrothorn, which would otherwise wall it. If I mean, you have Focus Blast, but that's not reliable anyway. Either way, uh, yeah, I am um, honouring my opponents the privilege of being quick attacked to death by the Maverick Sal Bows. <laughs> oh my lord, okay, I'm done with this. So yeah, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the other side.